Hey doc, intranasal or injectable vaccine? Which one's better for my calves? Well, thank you for asking that question, Generic Rancher Ron, because it's a question I get quite often. With the proliferation of intranasal vaccines on the market, people are asking how these vaccines may fit in their operation. In general, this is not a hard and fast rule. I use intranasal vaccines in young calves while using injectable vaccines for pneumonia in older cattle. The reason for this has to do with how these vaccines interact with the immune system to create immunity in the animal. With an intranasal vaccine, it stimulates the mucosal immune system. Think of this as the immune system of surfaces, surfaces that touch things that come from the outside. This would be like the airways within the lungs or the opening within the digestive tract, like the inside of the bowel where food passes through. This is, differs from the injectable um, vaccines, which stimulate for the most part what is called the systemic immune system. The systemic immune system interacts with the inside of the animal. Think the inside of the animal's organs, the inside of the animal's muscles, and whatnot. Though there is some cross protection between the two portions of the immune system with each vaccine, in general, that's what these two vaccines are stimulating. So let's go back then to why this would be choosing one for a younger calf versus another for an older animal. In a young calf, one of the things we're very concerned about is a vaccine response that is inappropriate. Basically having too much of a vaccine response that the animal ends up being dumpy or being unthrifty, which actually makes it more likely to be sick. Since an intranasal vaccine stimulates mostly just the mucosal immunity, which is on the surfaces of the animal and not all of those inside internal organs and muscles and whatnot. This means that we are less apt to see an inappropriate response to using an intranasal vaccine in that age of an animal. That's why I'll often select it on these very young calves. For example, calves going to grass in the spring or right after a calf is born if you need some protection for pneumonia right away. Now, in an older animal, I typically like to use an injectable vaccine for pneumonia. Couple reasons for this. First reason, there is no intranasal vaccine for BVD. BVD vaccines are only found in an injectable form. I want to protect against BVD, so I need to get an injectable vaccine at some point to do that. Now, the other reason is, is that I have a lot of confidence in these injectable vaccines in this age of cattle. Really, when you think about calves that are weaned and coming into the feed yard, we have used injectable vaccines in these cattle for decades with a pretty good response. So because of my confidence in it and the fact that I know that we've got to get BVD protection for these animals, I typically select an injectable vaccine for pneumonia in these older cattle. Now, one caveat, the regular nasalgen product not the new nasal gen 3, but the regular nasal gen product has been shown to stimulate the production of an immune compound called interferon. Now, interferon is a nonspecific means of immunity. Basically, it's part of the immune system that attacks anything that's not supposed to be in the animal. So in certain situations where we have calves that are coming into the feed yard that are moderately stressed, or perhaps calves that you're just backgrounding that are moderately stressed, by using that nasal gen, we can have a little bump in the amount of interferon they're producing just so we get a little bit of protection against anything that might be a problem for them. Now, because of all the very detailed nuances that come into using vaccines to produce immunity in cattle, I would strongly recommend you reach out to your veterinarian with Sioux Nation Ag Center in selecting what vaccinations are gonna work best for your specific situation. Because immunity is not exactly the same thing as vaccination, AKA, just because I stuck a needle in them doesn't mean that they're actually gonna be protected from the disease. Working with a Sioux Nation veterinarian will help you select the right vaccination program for your cattle so that we can actually produce immunity, not just sticking shots in them. Because um, calves that have immunity are more apt to stay healthy and healthy calves are critical to feeding that bottom line. 
So folks, obviously topics like how do we get immunity in calves and using vaccines right have a lot of different complicated moving parts that come together. And videos like these, I hope, are helping you maybe understand why we do the things we do to get the best results. So if you like what you're learning from this video, go ahead and look at all the other videos that we have on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel and whatnot so that you can expand your knowledge of things. And if you have any other topics that you would like to see covered, by all means, reach out to us so that we can put those in another video down the road.